All right, Tiara, I'm going to tell you why you should read this book. This one. This one right here. This one, which if uh, my video editing skills have worked, I have put a picture of. If not, I look like a cat who's doing jazz hands, which is not a bad thing in my opinion. <laughs> This book is Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxbaum. It's a story about Jessie who moves from Chicago to LA after her father has remarried. Jessie is trying to figure out her new LA life, including her new school, Mean Girls, and Boys. And um, yeah, we all need help figuring out boys. <laughs> At the same time, Jessie is trying to understand this new world where her mother is no longer living. Jessie's mother has recently passed away from cancer and Jessie doesn't know how to deal with her grief. When Jessie arrives to LA, she gets a mysterious email from SN, somebody nobody, a mysterious character who vows to be her spirit guide as she tries to understand her new school. Jessie spends much of the novel trying to figure out who SN is and who she is. Now, let's talk about why you should read this book. There are three reasons why. And yes, I picked that because it's tell me three things. I'm going to tell you three things. Get it? I think that's funny. All right, reason number one, thing number one, the characters. Oh, the characters. Okay, I loved every character in this book. They were all just so well written and so awesome that you can't help but love them. Even the mean girls. I love a good mean girl and there were a lot of good mean girls in this book, which you know, you gotta love. Let's talk about my favorites though, because if we talked about all the characters, we'd be here all day and um, nobody got time for that. My favorite character, of course, is Jessie. I mean, how could it not be Jessie? The entire novel is told from her point of view. Jessie is this funny, cool girl whose conversations with SN were by far the highlight of the book. I loved her conversations with SN. And speaking of SN, can we just talk about how dreamy, I mean, he's like this invisible character whose identity you don't know and who could have questionable motives and yet at the same time so dreamy. And he really seems to understand who Jesse is as a person, which we love. I loved SN. He was this amazing mystery in addition to all of these questions about Jesse's grief and her fears and everything, he was this delightful little mystery in the background, which took a little bit of the emotional impact out, which I loved. I just, I mean, and my favorite part about SN was that we didn't learn his identity until the very end of the novel. We spent the entire novel trying to figure out the mystery and uh, I love a good mystery. Now, let's talk about my actual favorite character though, okay? Theo. I just, Theo, he is just so adorable. Okay, imagine Jonathan Van Ness and then mix him with an LA hipster and you have Theo. He's fabulous and flamboyant and perfect and his wardrobe is killer. I mean, literally, I would kill for that wardrobe. I mean, yes. And I loved his relationship with Jesse. He was so protective of her and their sibling relationship seemed so timeless and yet was so new after they've been recently meshed together. I love that he was willing to protect the people he cares about. And I just adore that he understands who Jesse is because he's also trying to come to terms with losing his father. I love this dichotomy between the two and I love their relationship. Jess Jesse and Theo. I mean, I just love a good sibling relationship and I know I keep using the word love, but it applies, okay? Now, let's talk about Scarlett. Scarlett! She is Jesse's best friend who lives back in Chicago. Scarlett is trying to deal with her own problems as well as helping Jesse deal with hers. Scarlett and Jesse constantly text about their lives and they honestly kind of reminded me of you and I we're just constantly texting about our issues and especially for, since we can't see each other anymore because of the quarantine I mean I highly related to their relationship now let's talk about the second reason that you should read this book this one. Oh, oh, this one. Oh, someone touched me. Oh. I 
princess. There are so many swoon-worthy characters in this book, yes! The butterflies are real, though. I mean, you just get, like, this intense butterfly feeling and you go, ooh! First of all, there's S.N., who you can't help but kind of swoon over. I mean, the fact that he's trying to understand Jessie and help her live her life is, oh! And then there are the three main contenders for SN's identity. Jesse has is convinced that three characters are one of the three characters are SN. Caleb, oh Caleb, Liam, oh, and Ethan. Okay, let's start with Ethan. Ethan is just so adorable. He's dark and dreamy and wears a Batman shirt and he reads and we love, we love a guy who reads, okay? And he reads a lot. He like reads more than me, which is a lot, a lot. I loved how he understood Jesse too. Their relationship was really sweet. Now let's talk about Liam. Liam, he's like this surfer dude with blonde hair and he plays guitar and you just go like, oh, Liam, he works in the bookstore with Jesse and they are constantly talking and just trying to be good employees, which um, I can relate to. <laughs> Liam is so sweet and he has a best friend named Caleb and Caleb is this tall character who is constantly there for Liam and who's so swoon worthy and the two okay they're bromance though I'm sorry a bromance can be swoon worthy okay swoon I love their bromance they were always there for one another they understood one another and they were tight 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 their bromance was just so adorable. Now, let's talk about reason number three why you should read this book. The joy. Oh, the joy. Okay. I was a little hesitant to pick up this book in the first place. I didn't want to read anything sad because the world is a little bit sad enough right now. But I figured I might as well try it. And I was a little worried because how can a book about a girl who is trying to come to terms with her grief not be sad? I read it anyway, and I'm so glad I did. Julie Buxbaum understands that, yes, there is sadness, and yes, there is grief, and yes, there is this horrible mixture in the world, but at the same exact time, there's this incredible joy Julie Buxbaum understands that the joy is not undercut by the grief and vice versa. She perfectly melds the two together into this delicious cake that you can't help but take another bite of. And you feel so happy and so sad and it's so perfect and nothing is undercut and nothing is ruined and you just understand the huge emotions of humans and it's beautiful the joy in this book is beautiful and it takes you out for a minute and it lets you see what really matters and I especially loved that Julie Buxbaum wrote this book because she herself lost her mother at a young age she has lived this story she knows what it's like to be Jessie she knows the grief and she knows the joy and she perfectly melded the two. They were so joyous and grief and sadness and love and happiness. And there's so much in this book that is worth reading. It's so perfectly melded. All right. So those are three reasons why you should read this book. The characters, the swoon, and the joy, the joy. Make sure you go to Pflugerville Public Library, go to the Overdrive catalog. This book is available as an ebook and as an audiobook. It's so good and you should really read this, Tiara. Go and read this, seriously. Why are you still watching this video? Go and read the book. All right, I can't wait for you to tell me what book I should read and I'll be back next week to tell you why you should really read this book.